Hi, so we're going to talk about fix in motion. Now, fix in motion is a technique to use on your client when they have got pain in their body or areas of stiffness in the body and they're finding it difficult to actually move their limb to the end of their range of motion. Now, Crystal has got some neck pain, so we're going to demonstrate for you um, the pain that she's going through. But first of all, I want to kind of benchmark where Crystal is. I want to know between one and 10, what the pain is like for her. So then what's great when we do that is that then at the end of the session, we can then gauge whether the pain has gone down. So I'm thinking the 10 is really high to one, two is, is low. It's kind of what we want to be aiming for. So Crystal, whereabouts have you got pain? Pain when I look over to this side. When you're looking over to the left. And if you were to gauge that between one and 10? It's quite a sharp pain. Seven or eight? A seven or eight. So that's great. So I've got a benchmark to work towards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test some neck muscles. If I was working within a, a balance, I would do this within a balance. But for, um, for the benefits of this video, we are just going to be working on this one mu muscle to show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so I'm going to test her anterior neck muscles. So I'm just going to lift that head up and hold for me. Okay, that's locking. Let's turn slightly and hold okay so that's unlocking so i'm always going to be working priority so i'm going to check the priorities so let's just lift her crystals head up and hold me the muscle has changed so it's it's um relevant so that means that's a priority i'm going to turn even further around and hold for me okay so the furthest direction it's also unlocking so i want to check again for priority and hold that's priority Let's check for the left hand side and hold for me. That's locking further around and hold. And that is locking. So she has got a priority looking on her left side of anterior neck muscles. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to rub into the neurolymphatics. But what I want to make sure is I want to make sure that that is not an over energy. So I'm just going to check and hold for me and check for an indicator muscle. Yep, it's unlocking. Smooth that back out and hold. I'm just going to check the alarm point for the stomach, which is between the xiphoid process and the belly button. And hold for me. So that's locking, no change. So there's not an over energy. So I can put energy into the body. Okay, so Crystal, what I want you to do is I want you to really maneuver your head into the directions up and down, left and right. In fact, what I might do is actually get Crystal to sit up so I can sh we can really demonstrate the action of what she needs to do. So I'm going to rub into the neurolymphatics for the neck muscle and Crystal has been turning her head to left and she's going to be going forward and back, forward and back, and then maneuvering further away, forward and back, forward and back, okay? So let's go, if you can do that manoeuvring for me. Wonderful. Really to the end of their range of motion. How does that feel? Uh, not too bad. A bit more painful there. A bit more painful there. So let's go to the range of motion where it's really creating the most discomfort and pain. Like and that's easing off already. Fantastic. So I'm going to maneuver to the other side of the lymphatic. Oh, a little crack there as well. How are we doing? Yeah, that's easing. Yes, yeah, so that's easing by using. So that's the front lymphatics. So now I'm going to go to the back lymphatics, which are around C2. So I'm now going to rub into these and again get crystal to move oh, wow. as I rub into that. How does that feel? Painful. Painful. Is it too much? No, it's, it's so you can see I'm c communicating with Crystal all the time to make sure that well, I'm not creating too much pain for her. How are we doing? Yeah, that okay, so I'm gonna move to the other side. That one's uncomfortable. How are we doing now? Uh, yeah, just easing 
using off. Okay, so so from our, we were a, a pain level of seven. So where are we now? Definitely reduced. Um, like three or four. A three or four. So we've gone from a seven to a three or four, and all we've done is rub the neurolymphatics. So I'm just going to get Crystal to lay back down again, and this time I'm just going I'm going to go to the next to our next tool, which I'm going to run the meridian, but again, I just want Crystal to maneuver her head as I'm running the meridian for her. Okay, so just for me now, can you just gauge what the pain level feels like now? Three, two, three. Two, three. So we were a three, four. We'd gone down from a seven to a three, four, and now we've gone down to a two, three. Okay, so you can see by using the different techniques that we've got in our toolbox, how we can start to reduce Crystal's pain. So the last one, I'm just going to hold on gently to her ESR, but I want again her to just manoeuvre her head as I'm holding on, just gently move the head. But I'm just going to hold ESR points as she does that. How are we doing? Okay, so now just gauge that again for me. Can't really feel anything, but I've definitely got more movement. So let's sit up to show the movement. Okay, and now really manoeuvre that in all directions. How are we feeling? Feels like it's freer. A lot freer? Yeah. So we started at a seven, so where are we now on that scale of one to ten? Two. A two, lovely. So that's really significant. So we've gone from a pain level, a seven, down to a two, just from getting our client to manoeuvre their limb in all of those directions to help reduce the pain and help manoeuvre that lymphatic more significantly. So let's just test... So lift your head up for me and to side to side and hold. So that's locking now and hold, locking. So I've just tested the muscles that were unlocking. And there we have fixed in motion.